This is Kelly and Massey. Oh, it's Massey. I call my home. It's Massey, Massey alone. In Massey, everything is better. Oh, I shop in Massey forever. Oh, I shop in Massey forever. In Massey, nothing is hard. Sorry, guys, for the little corny video, but. It's the best way I could find to introduce our next video where Corey and I visit a local Massey store in Trinidad and Tobago on our way back from Chagaramas at the Glencoe store. And um, we just wanted to kind of get a feel for what the Trinidad supermarket experience was since we work for a supermarket chain in the United States. So this is us just visiting the store and getting our comparison. I hope you enjoyed the uh, KI intro. <laughs> <laughs> with the Massey commercial. All right, guys, let's head on in and see what's up. See you on the inside. Smarter than that. A smarter than that. A smarter than that. A smarter than that. Let the world see what's going on. Yes. So we're going to go inside Massey stores now and check out what they have and report to you guys. Going inside Massey Stores, Glencoe. See what's up. All right. Looks similar to a high V, almost. Right? Presentation. $48.99. It's hard to get used to. Okay. Because that's not really $48. It's 40 TT. 4899 TT. 4899 TT. Right. Which is. Hold on, let me get my TT calculator out. It's, uh, so it's 48.99 divided by 7? Seven? $7. $7. What is Expensive it? Expensive lettuce. So $7. Where's where lettuce? $7? Yeah. So this is probably why we were at that market in Arima. This is probably cheaper there oh, yeah. than buying it here. So this is probably yeah, it's seven dollars for yeah. It is experience. So I old. I officially old because tell me why. I remember when I used to go to the grocery and not suffer from post traumatic stress and depression. Brother man, them prices drinking rum. Them thing too high, boy. Only Moko Jambi can reach them prices because tell me why I stand up in front of the grocery shelf and I don't know if I read them barcode or price. The number is long, long, long. You had to make sure that your passport in a gear because to go to the grocery and to reach them kind of heights, you had to book a flight. You cannot reach up there just so. And you see me and you see tears running down my eye, you can't tell the difference if I go into the banker or if I know don't make grocery. You cannot tell the difference. What I could have made grocery with long time and get several boxes with. Now I had to tell the lady, don't waste that bag. I can hold everything in one hand. Big man thing, save the environment. But anyhow, that is just my little I remember when experience. Have you had yours yet? <laughs> so food prices here guys you can see. So if you, I'll put it up on the screen, the conversion. So like 21.99 divided by seven, and I'll put it on the screen, but. It's pretty cool. Ooh, pastries. Mm. But those prices look more like what we have. Yeah, a little better. They're cheap. Mm -hmm. Pepper and salmon pies. Pepper roti. Tuna puff. Donuts. There's a. Dude, that looks like you get diabetes if you eat that whole thing. I'd love to get diabetes. Chicken, rotisserie chicken. Not even the whole chicken, it's $34.50. So that's six bucks. And in Hy-Vee, we sell a whole chicken for six bucks, right? Yeah. So I would say shopping here at this store is comparatively more expensive than shopping in Iowa. Yeah. Interesting. Cereals, okay. 
3650. Something that's bought there regularly. Let's look at the post cereal because that's what people buy in the States a lot of. 37.99. So that's a little under six bucks. Yeah. That's about almost the same, right? Yeah. Well, it's like four something, so a dollar more. Cacao, pure cacao. That's pure cacao. It's a cacao. Twenty-seven fifty. They just shaped it like a cocoa bean or like a cocoa fruit. Coffee. 98 99 Yeah, not, not bad. Cashews are 74.95. So that's like that's about the same price we pay in Costco. Yeah. It's like 8 bucks. Yeah. 9 bucks somewhere on there. Cashews have always been expensive. Yeah. So this is our personal uh, observation from the perspective of being in the United States all these years and coming back here. And we work for a supermarket chain, but what we do is all their technology, like phone systems, self-checkouts, computers, whatever to do. But it's just nice to come and see what, what other countries have. You know, it's pretty cool. I want to make it clear that these are just our observations. We are not trying to put anybody down or make any complaints. We are just browsing and sort of just looking at it from our U.S. perspective and converting it into TT and kind of just paying attention. That's all. Interesting. Ground beef. for regular minced and it's uh, 0.475 kg about a little under a pound no this is not this is not guys this is not good meat you don't eat meat like that that's already rotting but Salted smoke herring fillet. It's better to buy it how we saw it at the market. It is? Yeah. This is boneless. But you want to transport it to try it there? No, I want to eat it later. Okay. Maybe. This is Canadian smoke. How much is it? It's, like, it's cheap. 34 and yeah. All right, so what you got here, we're gonna try smoked herring, boneless. <laughs> All right. Let me try it out. Plums, these Chinese plums, a red mango. No, no, I'm just looking. I like these. These are good for like when you go on the beach or something. What is that? It's mango. Sweet yeah. pepper mango with red food coloring. Yes. Yeah, not exactly the healthiest, but same with that. This one's just more peppery. This one's more sweet. This has more of a sweet taste to it. This has more of a... a, a I like our dried mangoes. Yeah. That's an Indian sweet called kurma. It's like a fried dough with sugar on it. Again, it's just diabetes in a bag, but... It's not how smoky that is. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Whew. That's real smoke. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, like, some Canadian bacon is $20.99. So, it seems to me like the... A lot of the import products are cheaper in terms of, like, processed food. And certain items are more expensive that are, like, healthier, I guess. All right, 
this is the movie but in the syrup form it's a thick syrupy form and this is what she thought we had oh. she was thinking that's what i don't think that's what we had because no. this is a little bit more sweet and what we had was very bitter so i think what we had was the real deal Corona. Corona beer is $16.99. Oh, Ramsar and Peanut Punch. Who remember this? Oh, I grew up on this, man. Woo! All you remember Ramsar and Peanut Punch? Oh, man. Oh, wow. This brings back so much memories. My dad always used to buy these. I mean, it's probably not that healthy, but... Oh, man. I just have to buy one now just to... Oh, man. I grew up on this, man. This is the best peanut punch in the world, in my opinion. Ram Saran's peanut punch, man. All right. Well, no, not, you wouldn't think so, but my, I'm a peanut punch guy. It's like a peanut milkshake, I guess. Anyway, guys, this is my favorite. I don't know how it tastes now. I don't know if the quality has decreased. I'm pretty sure, you know, like everything, quality, I try it on people cheese, aren't they? All right, so like everything, you know, quality does decrease over time. But in the young days, when I was young, it was one of the best peanut punches I ever used to like. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is our. Let me take a look at some detergent and see what it cost here. Oh wow, this bag of detergent is fifty dollars. This is what we buy over there. So for gain, in the states we buy something like this. This is two hundred and $49 so like things like that you know so it's probably cheaper to get the powder version you know all right guys that's a little sample of what the stores are like granola $23.99 $26.75 That seems good. Yeah, okay. Is it? Yeah. A dollar, a less, about 60 cents for these planting chips that we like to buy. All right, guys, don't mean to bore you with anything, but this video is mainly for people in the United States who are curious about the cost of supermarket items in Trinidad and Tobago. If ever you are visiting or planning to expatriate, this would be what the cost of food would be in a regular everyday supermarket. Now, bear in mind, this supermarket is also located in what is considered to be the upscale area of Trinidad. So it's a little bit of a more pricey area. So you can find places that have cheaper prices across the island. Like if you were to go south or Arima or certain areas, you can find better deals for your pocket. So. Don't let this be a standard, um, uh, you know, this is not really what the prices are everywhere. It's sort of a, a average or a general, just to give you an idea. And um, it was more, mainly us just getting sort of a US to Trinidad perspective. Also looking at what a supermarket in Trinidad and Tobago of the same caliber of supermarket chain that we work for in the United States how are they in comparison to what we offer here to what they offer there so that's really what this video was about this was corey and i just taking a look at what the trinidad supermarkets had to offer and this is only one chain there is a number of other chains there's uh, privately owned companies there are this particular one we went to is like a massive uh caribbean wide chain much like how we have high v in the midwest and then there's a bunch of other smaller chains that are more like regional and then you have little uh individual owned stores that are scattered throughout the island and you know so there's a variety you know and then you have the market that you saw that we went to in arima so we're going to try out the self-checkouts yep. see what their quality is like here donuts cookies oh these are uh our local uh what's the equivalent of this uh we call them coconut drops. They're made with coconut, but 
They're like a scone. Those are what you call coconut drops. Coconut drops, but they're like a, I'm trying to figure out the equivalent. It's like a scone. It's a coconut scone. Yeah. All right, we, so Corey and myself, we work for a company and we service, we service these machines, but these machines are different from what we service. We service NCRs. So I'm gonna use one of these and see how it works, but it looks pretty similar. These are zebra scales. We do service those scales. But we're gonna try this out. All right. Oh, there's no bags. Oh. Does this even work? Maybe they don't work. The hell's going on here? <laughs> $3,400 for a team. Associates will be with you shortly. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. Did you buy any alcohol already? No. No. Nice. Just wait. Oh. You're good. Keep going. Ha ha ha. On. this is your deal this is what you do <laughs> we're seeing this is not an ncr this is something else but whatever it is it seems like it's i'll let oh i'm sorry man Now our candy's gonna smell like smoked fish. Yeah. Or they put it in a different bag. Yeah. <laughs> Why haven't they set up the bags? Like a ba the baggers right there. The I don't know. Did I already? Uh... Nope. There we go. All right, guys. So let's see here. $75.79. Pay with credit card or yeah. debit card. How much was it? $75.79. Yeah. Which is. For, yes, it's good. Which I don't know what that is. $10. About a little under $10. $9. Bucks. Remove chip card. Invalid card. Associates will be with you shortly. Don't touch it. <laughs> Somebody on the call. All right, thank you. <laughs> A few moments later. Good day. Yeah. For what? Oh. Nope. Oh, you scan the bag? Oh. oh. All right. That's why I did it. Gotcha. Uh -huh. <gasps> All right. Nice. Thank you. That's why it got us. So it's smarter than we are. It's smarter than I am. Hmm. Trying to steal it. So <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't pay for the bags and it put a stop to us. Uh, it says, is this correct? Oh, you got... Yes. All right. Insert. Mm -hmm. Selecting MasterCard. Remove chip card. Okay. What is wrong with you? Associate will be with you shortly. Uh, Can we do cash here? No, it says credit or debit. Oh. I don't know why it's working. It's not working because... Is there a specific card it'll only take? What kind of what? card is it? Apple, Apple card. Apple card. So we're not taking Apple? Visa and MasterCard. Okay. Yeah, but well, that it's is a MasterCard. MasterCard. Yeah. Or well, maybe you have is to swipe it. Is it chip thing and not the... Chinese with an account, see? It's a chip thing. So it's not just in America, folks. In Trinidad, we have problems with these machines, too. 
It's worldwide. Okay. Okay. Sure. Try a different card. Try my card. We have to try. I guess it likes Visa better than it does MasterCard. Dialing now. Dialing? Mm hmm. What the hell? Approved. What the hell? Yeah, man. It's okay, man. Hey, if you need a few dollars what, while we're here, I'll. Yeah. It's okay, Corey. If you need a couple dollars while we're here, I can help you out. Oh, my God. All right, looks like what, and, and the other interesting thing was we had to scan for the bags. That was, that was new. Interesting. Yeah, let me see that. We got to show hy V this. Yeah. <laughs> you can charge for the bags now. <laughs> How was that shopping experience? It was interesting. Right. Thank you, eh? Appreciate it. No. Ah, no, we're good. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. All right. Here, here. All right, man. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video with some chutney soca from Ravi B, the price of rum for your Trinidadians. You'll know, for those who are not, this is a sample of our local chutney music. Here's Ravi B. We're live here at Napa in Port of Spain, Trinidad, where tons of supporters of President of Chutney Soka, Ravi C, have all gathered to support him. Little lady, know the tables are about to turn as the President of Chutney Soka is just about to release an announcement that he is going to raise the price of rum in the budget. Stay tuned, we've got this covered right here, right now. Just put up on their hands up and wait. I can't work it. I say wait. I can't work it. I say wait. I can't work it. Let's raise the price of rum in the budget. No, but the money's still gathering from their pocket. Let's raise the price of rum in the budget. No. What's your impression so far? Your thoughts, observations, feeling? It's not touristy. Not touristy, okay. Tobago, which is what I heard. So Trinidad, I think, would be more the industrialized island. The water tanks up there? Yes, that is Water and Sewage Authority, WASA. And that, my friends, making plenty sense. I summon this one girl hard to get out with the wife to make sure things good for the family. I summon to hurt my wife. I summon to drink and drive. My only vice is the party. And now there is the price of rum in the budget. No. The price I run in the